Everyone makes decisions every day. For each one, we can base it on intuition or a gut feeling, or choose to find more information. So when making a significant decision, how do you decide if you should trust your gut or gather more information? And how do we make decisions when it comes to GBB programming? There are two important factors to consider. First, what is the problem you're trying to solve? And second, will information or data help you make the right decision? Your intuition, based off years of experience working in this sector, can drive a lot of your decisions and can be a helpful tool, but there are ways to make sure it's founded in evidence. It would be careless to base all decisions around a gut feeling, especially when information exists that could help you inform your decision making. For example, you might have a hunch that you need to hire more staff, but having more information like the number of open cases or the number of cases per caseworker will help you make a more accurate decision about how many staff need to be hired. Of course, there are some people that scoff at the idea of using data to make these decisions. This hesitation can come from fear or lack of confidence in understanding and interpreting data or a general aversion to data. And we know, as social work professionals, our work necessitates that we serve the individual survivor with respect to their whole experience of violence. We are rightfully trained to perform our work from a more holistic, survivor-centered perspective. And data, in comparison, can feel like a cold reduction of the experiences that women and girls disclose, which we then count and analyze. However, we cannot ignore the power of data. We can see in nearly every project a component of measuring progress, impact, or change over time that can help us answer questions about our interventions. Are they equitable, accessible, effective, and cost efficient? When women and girls are left out of data, we limit their ability to be heard in a way that doesn't exploit their story and gets services directly to survivors. There's great power in the use of data and a responsibility to women and girls to use the tools we have available to be the best possible advocates. Contextual or experience-based information and quantitative data can and should be used in tandem to strengthen our decision-making.